gotta be. In most stealth games, enemies only have one type of reaction to the player, taking out a weapon and trying to kill you. But in Yandere Simulator, the player is surrounded by high school students, not soldiers or bodyguards. So how does a high school student react to witnessing a murder at school? The answer is that it's different from student to student, and depends entirely on their personality. In Yandere Simulator, each character has been assigned a personality type, called a persona, which dictates how they react to murder and corpses. I was originally planning to only have five or six different personas in the game, but over the past few years, I have implemented about 13 different personas, and as of today, I've added two more. These new personas will present a tremendous threat to the player, and that's what today's video is all about. In 2016, I described my idea for the game's photography club. The idea was that the club would be populated by friendly, carefree students who don't actually have any real interest in photography and just use the club for goofing around. But if students start disappearing or dying on school grounds, it would impact the atmosphere of the school and these carefree students would turn into junior detectives who would attempt to track down the culprit. I called this the Sleuth Persona. As of now, the Photography Club and the Sleuth Persona are finally in the game. The Sleuth Persona functions much differently than every other persona. It's the only persona that changes based on school atmosphere, which is a number that is affected by the player's actions. For example, the discovery of a student's corpse at school is minus 10% school atmosphere, but a student mysteriously going missing is only minus 5% school atmosphere. When school atmosphere is over 90%, the members of the photography club are happy and carefree, so their animations look relaxed. Below 90%, they feel worried about recent events at school, so their animations look a bit paranoid. Below 80%, they will start actively looking for danger, and their animations will change to reflect this. When school atmosphere is over 90%, they will react to the player's camera with a friendly pose. Below 90%, they react to the player's camera with suspicion. When school atmosphere is over 80%, they will use their club room for chatting and goofing around. Below 80%, they use their club room as an investigation headquarters. They build a fake crime scene to put themselves into the right mindset for hunting down a criminal. They put photographs of potential suspects on a corkboard and have serious discussions instead of goofing around like they normally do. When school atmosphere is over 80%, the photography club's leader has casual, carefree dialogue when you're talking to him about joining his club. Oh, hey! Welcome to our little getaway. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. We don't actually do any photography here. We just eat snacks, read manga, and goof around. If you're okay with that, you're totally welcome to join the club and hang out with us. But if you're, like, actually looking for a real club about photography, this isn't actually the right place. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, you want to join us? That's cool. The more the merrier. Sweet. Help yourself to some snacks if you'd like. Below 80%, his dialogue will change and get more serious. Hey, do you need something? Some seriously bad stuff has been happening lately. We can't just pretend like everything is fine. We need to get to the bottom of this. Everyone in the school deserves to be safe and happy. We won't let anyone turn our school into a dangerous, scary place. We're going to patrol the school and look for the person who's responsible for everything that's been going on recently. Are you interested in helping us find the perpetrator? That's great. You're a part of the investigation team now. Let's work hard to keep the school safe. When school atmosphere is over 80%, they will spend all of their spare time in their club room, just chatting about nothing in particular. Under 80%, their entire routine changes. They will briefly meet in their club room at the beginning of the day to discuss their investigation plans and discuss potential suspects and then they will spend the rest of their time hunting for the culprit who has been causing problems at school. Around 5 p.m., they will reconvene at the club to discuss what they've learned. 
They will hunt for the culprit by visiting each student in school individually and checking each student one by one to look for danger or suspicious behavior. During this process, they will also visit the player to observe what you are doing. This is what makes them a threat. Because they check on everyone at school, including you, they could walk in on you while you're trying to get away with murder. The advantage of joining the photography club is that if you're a part of their investigation team, they won't consider the possibility that you might be the killer they're looking for, so they won't bother to investigate you while they're paying a visit to every student in school. This makes them much less of a threat to the player. If the photography club is shut down, they won't stop their investigation. Even if they no longer have a club room, they will still walk around the school checking on each student individually, as long as school atmosphere is under 80%. When school atmosphere is over 80%, they will react to a murder with the social butterfly reaction. They will run to a place that they think will be populated by other students and call the cops. But under 80%, they will react to a murder with the phone addict reaction. They will snap a photo of you and run away while texting that photo to the police. If a member of the photography club sees you attack any other member of their club, they will use the hero reaction and attempt to apprehend you. This happens regardless of school atmosphere level. The club leader is unique because he uses the hero reaction instead of the social butterfly reaction if he sees you commit murder while school atmosphere is over 80%. He is the only member of the club who does this. As I mentioned, another new persona was added to the game today. This one is an extension of the sleuth persona. You could consider it to be a more extreme version of the sleuth persona. I call it the stalker persona. If a student witnesses you commit murder and calls the cops, but the police can't find enough evidence to arrest you, that student will develop a grudge against you and will cause damage to your reputation on every subsequent day. But if a member of the photography club reports you for murder and you get away with it, they won't stop with just holding a grudge. That club member will tell all of their friends what they saw. And that's where things get interesting. Normally, the photography club would check every student at school in an attempt to find the killer. But if they already know the identity of the killer, they only have to investigate one student, you. In other words, if a single member of the photography club knows that you've gotten away with murder, the entire club will dedicate themselves to following you around school at all times so they can try to snap a photo of you doing something incriminating. If you approach them, they will run a safe distance away from you. If you try to outrun them, they will always track you down. The one time when they won't stalk you is during class time and cleaning time. It's possible that, in the future, I might decide to let other students switch from their normal persona to the stalker persona. For example, if you increase your reputation at school, make a lot of friends, and increase your seduction stat, you will become very popular. Some of the other students at school might develop crushes on you and start following you around. Or, if a student sees you murder their best friend or sibling and they report you to the police, but the police can't connect you to the crime and arrest you, that student might start stalking you in the same way that the photography club would stalk you, after learning your true nature. The student council, the bullies, the delinquents, and the photography club each took a lot of work in order to be added to the game, because they all required new features in order to function as I imagined them. The remaining clubs do not have elaborate new features associated with them, so in the future it should take me much less time to add new characters to the game. Now that the photography club is finished, the next club I want to work on is the science club, since I've been looking forward to them for a very long time. Putting them into the game will probably be my next objective. That will conclude today's video. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.
Oh, by the way, are you interested in covering up your naked body? You might want to check out the two new Yandere Simulator shirts available in the Crowdmade store. I'm super happy with how this artwork turned out, and I hope you like it too. You can find a link in the video description below.